Welcome to our heating and cooling of substances activity. What do we know about heating and cooling things? Well, everybody knows about ice. Ice is a solid, it's cold, and it's hard. But what happens when we heat it up? I put this in the microwave and look what happened to it. And then I put it in the freezer to see what would happen next. After taking it out of the freezer, look what happened. So ice and water are pretty easy. We know that we can melt ice to get a liquid, and we know that we can take that liquid water and freeze it again to make it ice or solid. But what about other things. Let's take a look. Before we can experiment with other things, we need to come up with a hypothesis. Does everybody remember what hypothesis is? You make a prediction about what you think is going to happen. Look at your worksheet, question number one. Hypothesis. It is or is not possible to turn something back the way it was after heating it or cooling it because. Pause the video and write your hypothesis. When you're ready, start the video again. The items we will be experimenting with are butter, chocolate, and popcorn. Look at your worksheet under question number two, and the first thing you need to do is make a prediction. See the column with the black arrow on my video? In each column, predict what you think is going to happen for each of the three items. Pause the video until you're ready, and then start it again. Our first substance is butter that you can see here in the image. I put it in the microwave and here's what it looked like when it came out of the microwave after heating it. So now look at your worksheet and under the column that says heating observations write the observations that you made about the butter after it was heated. Pause the video, and when you're ready, start it again. After heating the butter, I placed it in the refrigerator overnight to see what it would do, and here's what it looks like. In the last column on your worksheet, under cooling observations, write down what you observed after the butter was cooled. Pause the video, write your observations, and start the video again when you're ready. The next sample is everybody's favorite, chocolate. So here it is before I applied heat to it. I placed it in the microwave to see what it would do. Here's what it looks like after the heat was applied. And now pause the video to write down your heating observations on your worksheet for chocolate. When you're ready, start the video again. After heating the chocolate, I placed it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, here's what it looked like. And when you're ready, pause the video to write your cooling observations for chocolate. When you're ready, start the video again. The next item is microwave popcorn. So here's what popcorn looks like before heat is applied to it. I put it in the microwave and let it 
pop and pop and pop. And here's what the bag looked like after taking it out of the microwave. And here's what the popcorn actually looks like. So pause the video to write down your heating observations on your worksheet. When you're ready, start the video again. After popping the popcorn, I took a little bit out and put it in the refrigerator overnight. Here's what it looked like when I pulled it out the next day. And now you can pause the video to write down your cooling observations on your worksheet. When you're ready, start the video again. So what did you learn from your experiment today? Go back and read your hypothesis again, and then at the bottom of the page, write your conclusion based on whether your hypothesis was correct or incorrect.